In this experiment, we used a set of similar images with the goal of finding the H. The first thing we want to do is set up those images in sequences. Go to Edit Sequence, and here you will bring in all your images. On the right, you'll set your sequence, and here we've set up a series of them. We have right note extraction. Here's the sequence for that. We have left only, and on and on and on. Hit OK. Next, we want to go to external devices, gaze point eye tracker, and make sure it's enabled. Next, we go to the setup. For gaze duration, that's the amount of time before the current time, which will be this line down here that will be green, that fixation information will be displayed in the eye tracking window. For the outlier filter, if the fixation duration is less than the outlier filter value, then the fixation will not be displayed in the eye tracking window. For time offset, this can be used to take care of any offset between the eye tracking data and LabScribe data. For display scaling, this allows the eye tracking window to show a scaled version of the screen. For fixation size, the fixation data is shown as a circle, which we'll see in a moment, whose radius is proportional to the fixation duration. The circle size is the radius of the circle in pixels corresponding to a one second fixation duration. We can also set an area of interest as a circle or a rectangle. You give it x, y coordinates and then a radius. We're not going to do that for this demonstration. Hit OK. We can also set up computed channels for the velocity of the eye movements, for the area of interest that was set up prior in the setup window, and pupil diameter of either eye or the mean of both. We're going to choose velocity. Back to the eye tracker section, we want to show the eye tracking window, and that would be moved to a second monitor. Now we're ready to record. In the eye tracking window, you can see the movement as the person changes their fixation. The circles are the current fixation of the eye at that time. The numbers are the fixation count determined by the gaze point software. The size of the circle shows how long the fixation period as determined by the fixation size that was from the setup. Also note the changes of velocity of the eye tracking in the velocity channel. When the recording is done, we can now export the eye tracking data. We'll save it to the desktop. And now we can open it up in your preferred spreadsheet. Make sure you choose comma delimited data. There's all your data with the various columns. And now it can be analyzed for your study.